So they turn to Mayor Pete. Mayor Pete has a little moment, and uh, so he 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 got eleven thousand votes in his city um, on a statewide. Uh, he lost uh, by 25 points. Uh, and his big quote is, well, he can beat Trump because we need something different. But yeah, like, but that different isn't a younger, gayer Biden. Like, nobody's asking, nobody's looking at Joe Biden and being like, you know what I want? What would be great is if Joe Biden were like 30 years younger and was gay. That That would be... That's what we need. Same policies, just different dressing, you know? It's like, what the fuck? That's not... That's not... Nobody's asking for that, Pete. Maybe you should finish the project that you started in South Bend, Indiana, and and, uh, and, and people would like you more, right? Like, maybe you shouldn't fuck over black people in your, in your fucking city. And Klobuchar kind of retorted back to that and said that women are held to a different standard um and uh uh she kind of hammers biden for this uh and i feel like klobuchar was kind of grabbing off of what kirsten gillibrand did uh in maybe the second debates uh where she kind of like hammered into biden um about uh his like kind of sexist remark that he made and everybody was like well you got to understand the times that we were coming in it was kind of fun to shit on women right and like that's always i I, it's always like a fucking fun excuse that i hear people do it's just like oh but the times you know the the times it was it was so commonplace to just use the n-word all the time yeah, but maybe don't. Maybe you should you should be better than the times that you're living in, right? Like, if you want the times to be better, then you should be better. You should lead by example, you know? Like, like before Obama legalized gay marriage after Mexico did it, like, me and a bunch of other, like, real progressive fucking comedians were talking about how gay people should be able to get married and they should have the right to have kids and raise a family. The Times dictated that we shouldn't. The Times dictated that gay people were, were, were the other, right? They were the outside. They were an enemy. You don't talk about gay people because you might offend somebody because their marriage... Ma- no, your, your marriage... Your, your shitty marriage still matters. Like, it's still valid. But so is gay people's marriage. I was doing bits like that in like, you know, 2009, something like that. Like when I learned how to talk about like social issues on stage. That excuse of like, well, you have to understand the times. No, I understand the times. I know what the times dictate. The Times dictated, when I was in college, the Times dictated that if you were gay in a Catholic college, which is where I went to a private Catholic college, that uh, it should have been frowned upon. But guess what? It fucking wasn't. The Catholic Church was frowning upon homosexuality. My, my, uh, one of the years my roommate was gay. He was a good friend of mine. And nobody cared. Actually, when he came out of the closet, and I don't think you're supposed to do this, don't like if if you have a friend that comes out of the closet, don't do this. Uh, uh, he came out, and a bunch of us were like, "Yeah, we know." <laughs> like, don't do that. Don't be like, "We've known the whole time, buddy." Have you met you? You know, like that's not the way to fucking. Uh, <laughs> like it was just like what. <laughs> but so did our pastor, right? the head pastor of of the church that was on campus also accepted our friend for who he was. Did it make him feel bad for it? The Times dictated that the Catholic Church shouldn't do that. You can transcend the Times. That argument of, oh, it was the Times, you don't understand the Times, is a total crock of shit. 
total crock of shit. Hey, thanks for watching this video. Uh, this is part of a little series I do called Road Reflections, where I talk to you while I'm on tour uh, about the current socio-political environment, current news stories, uh, debates, that sort of stuff that I don't get to talk about on my podcast, Taboo Table Talk or Forkful of Noodles. It's a little bit looser. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this clip. If you guys enjoyed it, uh, you can find the full episodes on my Facebook page. Uh, you can go like Krish Mohan, uh, social vigilante and comedian. And uh, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Uh, share this out if you enjoyed it. Um, and another way to help uh, see more regular content is by becoming a patron over at patreon.com slash Haha. Thanks again, guys, and we'll see you on the road. Hey everybody, thank you so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed the content that was discussed and the, and the type of humor that you saw in this video, then you probably enjoy my live stand-up comedy show. I've got live shows coming up in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Madison, Wisconsin, Bloomington, Illinois, Minneapolis, Minnesota, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Columbia, South Carolina, New York City, Philadelphia. I'm going to be on tour uh, in, in a whole bunch of places uh, at the end of 2019 and into 2020. Go to my website, ramennoodlescomedy.com, for my entire tour schedule. That's R-A-M-A-N, noodlescomedy.com. Check out my entire tour schedule, get your tickets there, and uh, we'll see you on the road. Thanks again.